So venovenous ECMO, it is used to support patients with severe respiratory failure, refractory to con conventional therapies. The blood is drawn from the central vein, passed through an ECMO machine and returned to the central vein. And in the VA ECMO, it is used to support patients with cardiac failure, with or without respiratory failure. So you should know with what kind of patient you have. If you have a patient of ARDS, a swine flu patient, a COVID patient, or any other patient with a very bad pneumonia, refractory to the standard therapy, you will use a VV the ECMO. And if you have a patient with a cardiogenic shock, post-MI patient, a post-journotomy patient, or a post-cardiac arrest patient many times, you will need a VA ECMO. You also have an AV ECMO. What are the indications of ECMO? So like I said, acute severe cardiac failure or respiratory failure with high mortality risk. So you should have a very severe cardiac failure or a respiratory failure with a high mortality risk. It should be reversible. That is a catch line. It is just a bridge therapy. It's not the treatment. And it should not be responsive to all uh, optimal conventional therapy. That means if a patient has come to you, you have exhausted your ARDS uh, protocols, you made the patient prone, you've done everything you could, patient is not improving within five to six hours, that is the time you need to put the patient on the ECMO. It is considered at 50% mortality risk and indicated at 80%. What does that mean? I'll tell you. So, a 50% mortality risk in hypoxic respiratory failure is a PAO2 FIO2 ratio of less than 150 or FIO2 requirement greater than 90% and a Murray score of 2 to 3. And 80% mortality is PAO2 FIO2 less than 100 and a Murray score of 3 to 4. So, we will read about a Murray score uh, in the next few slides. The second thing is a carbon dioxide retention on mechanical ventilator despite high plateau pressures. Because now beyond this, you won't be able to increase PEEP or do any other uh, therapies. So that is a time you have uh, reduced the tidal volumes to really low levels. And still your carb and uh, this is causing carbon dioxide retention. So you will go in for ECMO. A patient is waiting for a lung transplant and requires intubation. That is a time to put the patient on ECMO. Or you have immediate cardiac and respiratory uh, collapse. When you want to buy some time before the definitive treatment, that is also time you can put the patient on an ECMO. So inclusion criteria, like I discussed. Now this is the Murray score, which takes into account the PAO to FIO2 ratio, the chest X-ray, the PEEP and the compliance. Like I said, a score of um, uh, 2 to 3 is around 50% mortality and greater than 3 is around 80% mortality. So 80% mortality plus we definitely want to put the patient on ECMO. Indications for respiratory failure is pneumonia, ARDS, near drowning, autoimmune uh, lung disease. These are all uh, reversible uh, uh, conditions. In irreversible or chronic respiratory failure, it is indicated as a bridge only if patient is for lung assist device or for a lung transplant. So you know there is a definite treatment waiting for him and you want to buy some time so that is when you put this patient on ECMO. Now contraindications. 